Welcome to GSL Antigua Shipyard. All right. In the bottom left, starting location, we have our Terran player. He truly is the king of ghosts. And his ID is... Byung Prime. Let's do this, you ghost monarch, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, right. We have our Protoss player. Uh, very solid and managed to uh, slowly but surely defeat Beyond in that epic game. His idea is... SK Telecom T1, Ray. Okay, so we got to talk about this, Stasis. Well, what about what? Everyone told me, thanks, guys. You cannot push the enemy Archon around. Okay. Now, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What is it? The enemy Archon, unless friendly people are around and pushing him, just, what does he do? Take his, while he's morphing, take his Archon toes and hold on to the grass so you can't push him? Are you joking maybe, me? Maybe his friends aren't pushing him. Maybe they're just grabbing his arm and just pulling him along. He's an Archon. He's a ball, so it doesn't really hurt. You can't get hurt doing that. Yeah, but what about the enemy? Can't the enemy do that to him, too? How does he stop that? How does they're he stop that hands. from happening? I don't know. He has to hold on to the grass with his Archon toes. I didn't even think they had toes, but they have. They have them. That's the only explanation. Uh, what, has he got suction cups for his feet? That's oh stupid, God. guys. No. Listen, guys. He doesn't have suction cups. Whoever just said that, whoever said that, turn off GSL. Computer. You watch the VOD tomorrow, but you're grounded tonight. <laughs> turns out it was Tasis. He has to turn off. Goes to the control room and turns off home. GSL. I'll be in the coffee shop down the street, Dan. Come by there when you're done. All right. Antigua. What will Rain have in store for Bill? Because this is a hard final map. These guys uh, are both. Uh, they do turtle a little bit. I think they win a lot more of their games from their people attacking to them. Certainly. I got straight yo. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> straight up. <laughs> straight up, yo. <laughs> so uh, into this game, um, I'm betting that we're gonna have again. Probably I, as far as Beyond goes, <laughs> we're just gonna have him. Uh, just tech to ghost, man. He just goes in the late game. Do you think that more people should be doing this ghost tech? I don't. I feel like know. he is like literally the only guy doing this. He's the only one that I've ever seen play like this. And uh, the thing about Beyond is he's he's always been around. I think you have to have ultimate patience because I think all games like this are gonna have to go super long because you can't get aggressive with ghosts. Really, they don't deal enough damage, so you have to like strategically pick like a thousand different points where you're gonna outplay them with ghosts. And so I think. I don't think anyone can do it because I think Bion is the most patient player willing to play the longest games. Yeah. That's why it was so uncharacteristic of him that first game uh, that set the pace. Or no, it was the second game, excuse me, against Raid where he, he hit the barracks. Yeah. And just like, you know, floated that in the main. I'm like, what? I think that's not what Bion does. Well, you know what Sun Tzu says? What does he say? When macro player sometimes cheese for oh, great wow. victories. Oh, wow. Have you read Art of War? No. Dude, it's such a short read. Yeah. I read that in 45 minutes on an airplane. But I'm a really slow reader, so if you read that in 45 minutes, it would probably take me two days. Oh, I I'm like not even joking. I'm no, actually no, I, I, really I, I don't reader. think you know how short this thing is. Is it like a pamphlet? Yeah. Can it be like, written on a napkin? Yes. Because I read napkins really quick. When I go to a restaurant, I'm like, oh, McDonald's, okay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I read the napkin. All set. Hey, we should make GSL napkins, man. <laughs> totally, we should make GSL napkins. Well, we have a, yeah, man. And what we can do is put our faces on them, <laughs> one on each side. So you grab one of our faces to wipe your face on our <laughs> other face. It's like That's really weird, us, guys. Yeah. Why are you wiping your face on my face? It's really rude. But it's a napkin. Yeah, man. You blow your nose and you taste his <laughs> mouth on the napkin. <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Oh my god. Uh, so, in this game, uh, Rain is played, I mean, uh, very standard. Uh, going yep. for that quick blink, similar to uh, what Genius did. But he has a base up, so. Kind of interesting to see him go for that. On the other hand, 
Yun is actually gone for... Oh, he just canceled on his add-ons and threw down a tech lab. Did he actually scout what was going on? No, he did not. Well, anyways, I mean, this is... It's interesting to see him go for such quick blink. This might be to try to counteract uh, drops that Yun uh, would be going for on this map because they're so strong. And yeah. so if you get that quick blink and you stay heavier on the Stalkers, uh, that that can help you with that. If you catch a, a medevac or two, then suddenly all the things hard about the map aren't so hard anymore. That's true. In your opinion, actually, in, um, in late game here, who do you think has it harder, or is it pretty even on this map? On this map, is it just is it just basically a complete pain for both I, sides? I feel like it, it definitely is a pain, but I never see late game like actual TVP late game. I've just I haven't seen it on this map since the map came out. Basically, actually, that's a very good it point. Just, and I mean, I I play a lot right now, like and I third base, never like, get to I don't late know, game man. here. I gotta do it's, something, I'm not gonna have any minerals. Uh, either Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, the same conversation is happening in the player said. Yeah. Well, we're gonna have a little bit of blink harassment, it looks like. Maybe not a whole lot, but a little bit at least. And a little bit is better than none. Alright. You know what they say about soccer harassment or Tosis? Soccer harassment? Oh, oh, wait, oh, oh, actually, I was going to get a joke. Well, there's no time now. He's going straight for the tech lab. Ooh. Goodbye, combat shields. And he's actually going to be able to get the reactor, too. Yes, he is. Yeah. He thought he had to blink. He was like, wait a minute, right? Oh, it's going to oh. burn down. Sick. Look at that decision. And he actually, the reactor did die. But he didn't go back for the last shot, which some players might have. Did he did get, do a vision check? Did he, did he know that burned down? No, he just... Wow. Wait, no, I guess he did see it burn down just before. Oh, yeah, his observer saw it. Oh, yeah, duh. Well, derp, All right. derp. All right. Double forge going on. Yep, got some immortals out here in the mix, too. Getting his charge. I like the fact he's mixing in immortals. This is a very old style of PBT, where you go for uh, the gateway base Twilight Army, but you mix in immortals. Gives you a lot more power because uh, back when Twilight Armies really got popular, like back when Adele Scott was like championing that stuff and never going Colossus, uh, people started making a lot more planetaries, and yes, that really yes. messed it up. But then some people started mixing in, you know, three, four immortals, and then suddenly you just right click on it and they die. Why is Beyond moving out? I mean, he like I obviously he's got it's a weaker not get anything done. Yeah, uh, realistically, he might be trying to do a little drop, a little drippity drop, a little drop, drip water, drop of marines. Yeah, man. Drop them marauders. Drop, drop a, beat. Drop them marauders. <laughs> so we got uh, stalkers trying to make sure this uh, drop does not occur. And uh, you kind of feel like Beyond being sort of randomly aggressive here with the units that are actually not as strong as they should be at this phase of the game. Since, uh, you know. He's you trying know, to just, see if he can maybe pick off a free unit or two. Yeah, just go out there and hit a pylon or whatever, you know, in the corner. Also, that was actually a thing that was hard for me when I switched over to StarCraft 2, was understanding that I don't want to just line my base with pylons, like StarCraft 1. Yeah. With StarCraft 1, you, you, you put it on all the edges of your base so you see a uh, dropship coming in with vultures. Yeah. Because vultures can't kill buildings, just like Hellions could. Yeah. Um, exactly. Anyways, uh, Vion is taking his third base during all this. 2-2 on the way for, uh, for rain. And he's actually going up to 8 gates and 2-2. Two -two. Uh, he might... This is a very interesting uh, build that we're seeing from him. It looks like he wants to take another base now. So, like, a rush to 2-2, very strong gateway-based army, and take a really late third, it looks like. Uh, not entirely different from what we saw last game, just a different way to go about it. Yeah. Like, instead of a uh, storm, he went for the quicker blank. Okay, here we go. He's coming up here. This is not good. He can actually chase this for a while now. There, there you go. And the Nexus does go up. So he's just taking, you know, a later expand, which is fine. This 2-2 two -two is going to finish really quickly, which is nice. Yeah, gonna, he's going to have a 3-3 three -three uh, right away. The 2-2 two -two just going to start for Yun right around now. All right. Um... Note beyond the substantial supply lead because uh, he wasn't focused, as focused, I should say, on the upgrades as um, Rain was. And uh, his economy is pretty insane. I, would you describe yourself as um, one of these players like Beyond that always goes for a very, 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 very long game? Yes, 
Absolutely. Yeah, you are? Yeah. I, I do practice uh, some all-ins that I really like every now and then. But yeah, I definitely like the one. Oh my god, a big Whoa. mistake. A big, big overstep. Big, mistake. big overstep there. Picking off a meta back with those stalkers. We almost. got a drop over here though. Oh well, that's that's gonna be pretty powerful. But this attack at the same is time though, the Protoss I think can actually take it all the way home. Because those that's two medivacs and a bunch of units that are not actually there to defend. Dodie's not going in the bunkers. Okay, now he is. Oh, that bunker taken out very quickly. There are a lot of Archons mixed in here, Tasteless. The drop of Beyond doing a lot of damage as well, though. He might even just blink up there. And yeah, you know, this is what happens if you drop. A big drop like that during an attack because they just have more stuff than you, and then you lose. <laughs> That's true. And you know, uh, he actually just scanned the third base of rain to figure out what was going on and saw that there are no miners there. So that was almost like a fake nexus in some ways. It turned out to be like that. I don't think that was his actual plan, but this 2-2 two -two timing super powerful. Beyond, unfortunately, a sad ending for him today. And you can see in the shot of, uh, that we have him in the booth, he knows this is almost futile here. Yeah, this is a hard place to come back from when you have three supply. Wowzers. Wow. And look at that, our Kespa player, SK Telecom T1's reign does advance to the round of 16. Damn. About 12 people just hit submit on their Reddit links with a little S going. T1's reign defeats Beyond and makes into the round of 16 of Chase Left Go This. That's what they did. Yeah. Nerds are speculating in the comment section. That's right. That's what making, they gotta do. Making baseless Can assumptions. He <laughs> Can he win? Marine King did name him yesterday in an interview as one of the players he's afraid of that he thought might be able to even take the tournament. As you guys can see, and I actually do feel bad for Beyond Man. He's just. You could see, I can say, he seemed nervous at the start of today. Mm -hmm. Like first game, got all the way here, but Rain just would not allow a game to be taken from him from Beyond. Yep. Really great play. I will be giving him an interview uh, pretty yeah, quickly here. Yeah, hope you submitted those questions. Yeah, hope guys. You homework. Make sure you submit those questions. Well, probably it was already picked, the uh, questions, most likely. You could so try. You guys are probably too late, but you can try anyways. Well, Great job today, Artosis. You as well, Tasteless. We have a little weekend this coming was, up here. This was a long week. Every night ended after 11, I believe. I, just so you guys know, like these nights are actually going for like almost two hours longer each night than they used to. Than they, than they normally do. Yeah, yeah. This so, has been a very long weekend. Next well, it, week should be even longer because we have two groups with three Terrans in them. Yeah, that's true. So, long games, but uh, <laughs> lots of StarCraft too. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, great games today. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually really excited to have a Kespa player moving on. Yeah, it's a better story. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's kind of cool because the StarCraft 1 guys do play just slightly differently mm -hmm. than the StarCraft. Um, well, the, the guys who are playing StarCraft 2 from before. Anyways, uh, the results for today. We Let's just saw Rain get by. And before that, I almost feel like it was ages ago from today, but Happy made it through. Oh, that's right. Happy played yeah, today. Yeah, I forgot Happy. Yeah, he I made forgot. it right through. He did a yeah. great job. Uh, Rain, of course, is second. Yun in third. He will be safe in Code A. Will not fall out right away. Genius, though. Right. He'll be playing for his life in that deadly round one of Code A. Scary stuff, man. One of the scariest things in the world, round one of Code A. You lose, you might never come I, back. I got it. Oh, well, actually, let's talk about uh, the next matches. This is uh, for Monday, yep. and everyone's going to tune into this one. MMA MVP Tejan Mana. Has there ever been a group of more fan favorite players? Yeah, actually, that's that going to be insane. That sentence was terrible, but... No, um, it's okay. <laughs> no, that's that's a wild lineup. Teja is on fire. MMA. He's MMA, guys. Yeah. MVP. And Mana. I don't know who MVP is, but Mana. <laughs> Mana's I've sick. heard that name somewhere, MVP. I'm not sure. Mana, that's... The... It's what? Uh, I, I'm trying to make a joke about Secret of Mana, the video game, or Legend of Mana or something like oh, that. Oh, I bet I can I can work some of those we'll, out over we'll this weekend. We'll figure that out on Monday yeah, yeah. we're not It'll so tired. It'll be a good cast, yeah. Um, yeah definitely uh, check out all the other programs that we're doing here at Golem TV. Yep. And uh, keep spreading the word about the GSL. We love you guys. Um, as you can see here at the bottom of our screen, the GSTL. Oh, yeah, that's right. Check it's, that uh, out. That's this weekend, guys. Yeah. Uh, and look at that. On Friday, it's NS Hoso against LGIM. 
Going to be a sick, sick match. Uh, Jokchi is killing it recently, so that's going to be I hard. I miss uh, casting Jokchi's games. I do, too. He needs to make He's it back like, in just, He was, like, so good. I'm like, oh, crazy finals yeah. guy comes out of nowhere, and then he just... That's right. He uh, was like, goodbye, and he faded away like those ghosts and those Christmas movies. You know, I Am has, like, the sickest roster, but they never do well in Team League. They don't really put out their players with the right strategy. So can they actually take out an SOSO? Winner faces Fnatic on Saturday. Going to be a lot of fun. Make sure you tune in. All right, that does it for don't us go anywhere, though. this week, uh, for me at least. Uh, but we're going to have an interview. So uh, at least on my part, good night. Love you. Hey guys, Artosis here alongside Snowbird and of course Rain, our Kespa player who has made it through to the round of 16. We have some questions from the internet to ask him. So let's go ahead and start from Hyoyeon is my waifu. <laughs> Are you surprised that you're on the same level as, if not better than, GSL Code S players? Did you expect to be able to catch up this quickly? Uh, 뒤에 셀 선수가 실력 차이 거의 없다고 볼 수가 있는데 네. 그렇게 빨리 따라갈 줄은 예상하셨나요? 어 근데 어디 보고 해야 돼? 예? 아, 아 카메라 보고 아. 어 우선 맨 처음 시작할 때는 그래도 제가 다른 선수들보다는 좀 빨리 실력이 늘어가지고 잘될것 같았는데 이렇게 좀 빨리 코드 S 16강 올라가게 된 줄은 몰랐어요 he says that when he started playing StarCraft 2, um, his skill went up a little faster compared to other players who just switched, but he never expected to uh, get to the round of 16 of GSL so quickly. Ah, first try, that's pretty good. All right, from Big Stick, what is your best matchup? Has Boxer had a big impact on how you train in SK Telecom since joining as a coach? Katsajin he says that his uh, most confident matchup is versus Zerg. And since Boxer has joined the team as a coach, he learned a lot about the matchup versus Terran. So he hopes with the help of Boxer, he will be able to become as confident versus Terran as, as he is already versus Zerg. Wow. Well, he's going to be even more deadly then if his PVZ is even better than that. All right. Well, our last question for the night from Samex. Uh, how difficult was the transition between Brood War and StarCraft II for you? What do you think about StarCraft 2? Star I was a fan of Star Wars. 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 I was a fan of Star he said that um, Star in the case of StarCraft 1, he actually just played it for fun and this just became a programmer naturally. But for StarCraft 2, it was very different because 
he was kind of forced to make that change. So it's not like he played it for fun and it came naturally. It was more like work for him. So in the beginning, he had a very hard time because of that. But now, since he's becoming better, he actually feels the fun of it and he's enjoying it a lot more. So right now, he, he thinks it's great. Oh, great. I think it's great, too. Well, this interview has been great. Thank you so much, Rain. And, of course, Snowbird, a uh, wonderful guy. Gom Snowbird on Twitter. Go ahead and follow him. Guys, we will see you later. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for the Team League. And thanks for watching.